Hello everyone, we are going to be covering Private Send today. My goal here is to keep it as basic as possible. I also want you to see it in action. Private Send does take a few moments to complete, but to make it more convenient, I'm going to speed it up. So, first off, what is Private Send? Well, it is and it isn't what it sounds like. With Private Send, the goal is to give you the financial privacy you are seeking essentially like having paper money. This is done by taking all your inputs in your wallet and a quick example of this is this transaction that I sent to my Exodus wallet this morning or my mom's wallet or bitcart.io which is a fantastic service and then this top transaction for 1.99 dash is an output from my Exodus wallet. So why did I mention these inputs? Well, the private send feature is one of the jobs that the masternodes operate. Also, instant send. Private send breaks down your dash inputs into small denominations, so instead of having one dash, you will, it'll break it down to 0.1 or 0.01, etc, etc. Or if you have 100 dash, you'll break it down to 10 dash or 1 dash. That is just a given example. So after these denominations are broken down, it mixes your denomination inputs from your wallet with two other people on the network. And please note that coins never, 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 never leave your wallet. An easy way to view private send is to break it down into paper money. I'm gonna be going over a quick example of how this is done. And please, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. This is kind of how I view private send working. So, for example, you have person A with $10 and two $10 bills. Person B, they have three $5 bills and five $1 bills. Person C has $10 and two $5 bills. So, what if person A wants $10, or to trade $10 for two fives, and person C wants to trade one five for five ones? Well, it kinda will look a little messy because you wouldn't have a facilitator, and so it could seem like it could get a bit messy, say one person doesn't trade hand in hand and someone could run away. But in this scenario, let's just say everyone is happy. So everyone got their money that they wish to trade with one another. And because it's paper money, it's always anonymous, no matter what. And then what if person A decides, oh hey, I need some $1 bills, so they trade one $5 bill with person C to get five ones. And then person B wants another $10 bill, so they give person C two $5 bills. But as you can see, there's not really a safe way for each party to just completely agree. So the bottom line is that there's no way without it being facilitated by a third party to exchange funds between multiple groups. So A has to trade with one person, B has to trade with one person, unless there was a facilitator and we can call them D. They can be the one that makes sure all the transaction or quote unquote inputs are going smoothly. But this can be just viewed as a masternode, just mixing all the inputs and making sure each party is distributed their own amount after the fee. So that might have seemed a little bit messy and I hope it made sense, but if you have any questions about my thought process, please leave them in the comments below. So let's get to the point that you're probably here for. Let's see Private Send in action by just, all you need to do to start this is click mix or start mixing because I have a passphrase, I'll type that in now. So essentially in this process, what you're doing is telling the masternode network, hey, I wanna mix my dash. The masternode network seeks out two different people 
that you are sending the same that are sending the same signal as you, aka wishing to mix their dash. The mixing process begins and the master node mixes the inputs of the three users and instructs the wallet to pay the transformed inputs back into the wallet. The new denominations are in a different address. So let's pop over to transactions so you can see what's happening. When you click on transactions, you can see on the right hand side that there are some fees going out. These are to pay the master node network for service that they're doing. So once all these get paid with six confirmations, the mixing process will commence. And as I stated in the beginning, I'll fast forward this to make it more convenient because this can take a little bit to get started. One thing I do want to point out is to make your funds completely anonymous, I would say let the mixer complete a few rounds. I typically let my mixer run for at least an hour depending on how much dash I'm mixing. You don't need to sit around all day and wait for your mixer to complete. If you're confident that your wallet is very secure, you don't have anything to worry about. So like before I started mixing, I had to enter my passphrase. All right, everyone, we just let the private send mix for a good while now, about an hour. As you can see, the private send balance is 2.73 dash. So when I send a transaction, it'll show multiple outputs for said transaction. So this is an example of one of my past transactions that I've sent. As you can see, each of these addresses have 0.1 denominations for each transaction. And then this one was 1.0. And then most of them are 0 0.01 or 0 0.1. Um, as you can see overall, it's pretty pretty great uh, if you're pretty anonymous about what where you're sending your Dash. It's a fantastic service. And all in all, I love it. Would recommend using it, of course. But as always, all services are optional and do, and please remember that there are fees associated with mixing. Um, as you can see, 0. 0.00004 dash, uh, I think that's less than a penny. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it's very minimal and thank you for whichever master node I got stuck with to help me mix with two other people that are on the other side of the planet from me for all I know or they could be in the same neighborhood as me for all I know but anyway um, if you have any questions about private send please drop them in the comment section below using it is very simple but understanding it is a little bit more complex also I have a link in the description if you want to learn more about PrivateSend. Thank you everyone and I hope you all have a great day.